Hello, happy Memorial Day. It's Mark and welcome to a special edition of Scotch Sunday. Today, it is Memorial Day and as part of my Scotch of my Memorial Day tradition, I will be watching a band of brothers. So that is why you will understand what why I am doing this particular bottle today. If you've seen the TV mini series, which is actually it's actually excellent, I highly recommend it. Lewis Nixon in the in the movie, his favorite Scotch is, our favorite liquor, is that 69. Never had this before. It is a blend. And so uh, I'm going to give it a try just be, to kind of go along with the, with the, the miniseries. I said movie, but it's a miniseries. And um, so anyway, a little history on this. As I said, this is a blended Scotch whiskey. Uh, I think it has both grains and uh, single malts in there. And... It's 40% ABV, I believe. It does not say on here anywhere. This is a 750 milliliter bottle, um, but my understanding is 40%. Um, so anyway, it's been around a long, 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 long time. There is an, it is no age statement. It was created by William Sanderson and Son. Uh, you know what, I'm gonna open this before we do anything else. It's had a lot of stickers on the label. I don't know what's up with all that, but I'm going to put a little bit in here. I'm going to roll it around the glass, let it air out a little bit. So, all right. So, it's created by um, William Sanderson and Son, which they are now through different acquisitions, they're now part of Diageo. This particular whiskey was created around 1882, from what I can understand. Um, and so Sanderson was in business. He had, at age 13, he got an internship with a wine and liquor distributor or company um, way back in, eight, in 18, I guess, 60s or so. But anyway, so he created his, he got, kind of learned the trade and learned how to blend whiskeys. And his son encouraged him to, to do that, to do that, to do some blending with the whiskeys. And so he created 100 casks of whiskey and invited some experts to judge which one was the best. And just as the name, where they get the name from, the cast number 69 was the winner according to the tastings that they did. And those tastings where you did all this were actually called battings. So that is why it is bat 69. Uh, originally it was at, uh, bottled in port bottles, which you've ever seen them. They're kind of a little bit more squatty. And it was that way for um, over a hundred years. And then finally it was, um, now they, they redid the bottles back, I guess, I don't know, probably 25 years ago or so. Uh, and as I said, in Band of Brothers, Lewis Nixon was an enthusiast of it. And it's also made several appearances in, in many movies, including It's a Wonderful Life. There's a bottle on the shelf at, Nick, at uh, Martini's and, and um, Adventures of Buckaroo Banzai. It was in that. Uh, Our Man in Havana, The Roots of Heaven with Orson Welles. And one of them, another one of the great World War II movies, 12 O'Clock High, it was also in that movie. Also in several television series, such as the British comedy series Faulty Towers, uh, I believe a show called Life on Mars. And so anyway, the, well, I think that's really not, I, can't, I don't know what else to tell you about that, it's, other than it's been around a long time. The, it is part of Diageo. At one time, Glen Garish and, and Royal Lochnavar were also um, some possibly where some of this comes from, but I don't know. They they had actually Sanderson and Sons had actually acquired the uh, uh, Glen Garish to ensure that they would continually be able to have these grains. So probably, possibly, who knows whether that's actually in there or not. But so without further ado, I'm going to get into the nosing. So. There really is nothing I can read you on the label. On the, there's nothing there other than it has William Sanderson's son, 750 milliliters. Uh, nothing. So, I'll just look at the color. It's in a green bottle. It's in a green bottle also, so that's not really going to help you with that. But we'll have it in the glass here. 
It's 40% ABV, so in all likelihood we've added color and probably chill filtered. Well, just because I think they have added color. I think I heard that, but anyway, so let's see what we get. You know, it's not as horrible as I expected. I was really had low expectations for this. It's very inexpensive and it is a blend. I've had worse. I've smelt worse. There is a bit of... Hmm. There's some vanilla. There's definitely fruit in there. I'll say pears. Yeah. Getting some raisins. Definitely getting that vanilla in the back. Honey. Getting definitely getting some honey in there. There's a sweetness in there, almost like like a confectionery sugar sweetness. There's some spice in there, like a, not a bit, not a harsh spice, more like a, well, maybe, maybe some brown sugar and cinnamon, maybe a little bit of cinnamon, but a sweet cinnamon, not that, that really harsh cinnamon. So, all right, let's get into the palette. I'm getting oak. It is sweet. Definitely getting that, that oakiness in there. A lemon. Um, there's some, I'm getting the raisins again. I'm not getting the honey. Um, so, okay. That's what I'm getting there. It is kind of crisp. Um, it does have good legs, I noticed, surprisingly. But um, all right, let's see if I get anything else on the nose. I'm getting more, more of the brown sugar. More of the vanilla. You know, this is not offensive. I really thought it would be for such a cheap whiskey, but Okay. More lemon. Um, it does have a sharpness to it, like a very crisp. Um, it is sweet, like raisin sweetness, um, sugary sweetness. I'm getting, definitely getting some raisins in there. And so it finishes pretty short. It's not bad for its price, for sure. Um, would I buy it again? Mm, no, I would not. So, mm, I don't know. We'll do it like a five-star general. So there you have it. See you next time.